So, uh, as Aaron said, uh, we are doing group 3. And basically, the, our problem formation started out, out with what can I do until the show starts? We have all experienced situations where we are standing somewhere waiting, and there's three or four hours or half a day until what we are actually interested in starts. Maybe a festival, maybe us waiting to pick some up at, at the airport, and well, lots of time to kill. So, what can I do about that? Because it's not very fun to stand there waiting. Well, can we build an Android app that solves this? Well, of course we can. We, we are software engineers. We are supposed to be able to build apps that solves everything and does everything useless or useful we can imagine with a phone. So, how would that work then? Well, one idea would be to you have to tell the phone somehow where do I want to go? And then you have to be able to tell it exactly when you want to be there. And the computer is or the phone is then supposed to tell you what to do in the meantime. Sounds useful enough. It could tell you to go, go to that show or go to that, the other show or stay at the bar for one beer or stay at the bar for four beers or how many beers the time now is enough for. Uh, so how can we realize that? Okay, we have a phone. We have a physical screen. With a touch screen. So, and it can display maps. Okay, Google Map is a great resource for this. So, we can click on the map and get the coordinates. And then we can use some kind of clock, your digital or analog clock, to select the time. And by magic, somehow, the application is supposed to produce its results. And what actually is used for that, of course, is we, are, we already know the current location of the device and presumably the user is touching the screen is reasonably close to the device, so getting the GPS coordinates. Uh, and the target coordinates we of course get from the click on the map. The current time we can get from a clock in the device or time server or whatever, and it's available. And the target time is what the user actually indicated on the actual clock in the application we're building. And by given that, we're given a time window. We're given a start time, an end time, a start position, and an end position. So the trick here is to find an event which we have enough time to walk to, time enough to attend, and time enough to actually walk to a target destination before we have to be there. And in this demo, we just assumed a straight line distance and a walking speed of 1.5 meters per second. In a real application, we do a much more sophisticated model using path directors and such. It's nothing really new with that, so I will time to skip that. And from that time there, it should present the possible list of events possible for user selection. So it pops up to a list of events given the starting position in time and space and the end position in time and space and let the user select and assuming I select I want to go to this half hour show in the middle of the time window so I still have one and a half hour before one and a half hours late then I can of course recursively repeat that process and select other events to fill those gaps And now, uh, assuming David had actually got the demo work, I mean, it looks like he has. We were thinking about uh, going around and showing us basically what works right now. Okay. So, uh, basically, because we, uh, we're not at home, you mentioned the Edinburgh Festival data? Yeah, yeah we, we took the festival data to actually have a data set. To so, play. Yeah. and that's uh, we're just bringing work in. So, we've got yeah. how many thousands of data points out here? Um, Around 4,000. 4,000 things. And then and then send, uh, quite a lot, quite a diverse set of um, locations uh, scraped from uh, uh, open source street maps, open street maps and uh, from some review source, <coughs> um, basically comprising a di data set that holds a bunch of pubs, nightclubs, uh, things like nurseries, places where you can park your, um, park your bike or car, and sure. even even some soreness all in there. And um, basically what, what we've done is uh, to come up with um, opening and closing times 
then we assumed for certain uh, types uh, a minimum staying time and average the prices of all the shows that happened there um, to find to give a more or less a good idea about how much the user has to spend <coughs> there, even for some uh, different restaurants as well, averaged over um, the menu and things like that. Can you bring it up? Can I have a look? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <coughs> Showing you the right doesn't die. So that, that data is stored in a database in Glasgow. Uh, this will communicate with it uh, online. So because we're not in Edinburgh at the end of the festival. Just so again, the words reflection. Yeah, Sorry. Okay. Um, so first off, actually, where you are. So say we we're here. And we want to go here. So it's hard programs to uh, in the demo. We couldn't. We didn't have the time to do a time input thing. So we're just hard coded. It. We've got two and a half hours to spend. Uh, time to continue. <coughs> and it's coming here in the server. So it returns um, about thirty places you can go. It tells you about them where they're located. Sorry. Of Sorry. <laughs> <We're sliding. laughs> it's very hard to. The reflection. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So. Uh, <coughs> Problems of processing that I had to do when doing. So you can just flip through those uh, and it will look back to the start thing which will put them all. It tells you how far away it is and how far I have to walk there. So hang out at the pub, the great grog. It is uh, 59 minutes away from you and it is 70 minutes away from your destination. So I can tell you what you can do over the next uh, hour and a half. So you could, could uh, that's assuming that you're walking there. There you've got uh, what, an hour and 10 minutes to, to get drunk before you continue on to your destination. And the next page, oh, I'm sorry, I've actually picked one. So you pick one, you're clicking at it, and it's supposed to draw you the line from your destination, but I'm going to go above because it puts it down to the bottom left. Right. And you can reset it. Do you want to have a look? Sure. Uh, they, it does actually create <coughs> things based on where you point your coordinates. Oh, the map is just a static image. Yeah, get ahead of you some time to get here with the server. Okay. I'll hang out at the church. <laughs> <laughs> there is a couple of odd places, so the uh, you oh, the, the nursery school. Yeah, that's, that's, the one that's, <laughs> that's, that's the one that we that would be the most awkward. The other thing is, here's how to get there. Have fun. Oh dear. So <laughs> <laughs> um, well, yeah, that's I think it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.